Go on downstairs. You're bothering me. Are you lost? Will you attack me if I am? No, but I will ask what a member of the Dawn Guard is doing in a skooma den. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Dominique Gold. A little bird told me she runs this... establishment. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find her, would you? I've been told she doesn't like to disturb her guests talking about matters outside of... Well, what most people come here for. You don't seem like the type looking for your next fix, but what do I know? I'm tracking a vampire. I've been told she can help with that. I see. In that case, come with me. You must have just missed her on your way in. Please, come in. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Of course. I thought doubling up on bouncers seemed a bit off. A well-executed charade, Lady Gold. Thank you. Speaking of executed, who has Isran sent you after, my dear girl? Have I ruffled his feathers so badly that he's after me, or has the Dawn Guard somehow lost track of Lord Volkahar? Dear girl, brave words. Of course. Hegatha. I meant no disrespect. I'm simply old-fashioned, I'm afraid. So you do know who I am. Isran didn't have any other Aldmer in his employ last time I checked. Then you know why I'm here. Tracking a vampire, yes, that is what you told me. There are so many vampires in Skyrim, however. Care to enlighten me as to which one? I'd be surprised if you didn't know him. Ingrath Stormsong sometimes calls himself Cayman. Bosma, red hair, one eye. Fought in those skirmishes alongside the Dragonborn and all of her companions, made a terrible mess of the Empire's forces at the Battle of Fort Greenwall just down the hill from here. Escaped Thalmor capture with the help of a blonde-haired, possibly Breton associate? Have you really never heard of him? Well, of course I've heard of him. I'm the one who turned him. You're playing games with me. Not at the moment, but I could if you'd like. What's your fancy? Tafel? Chess? I will warn you, I play a wicked Daggerfall Gambit. Enough. You're stalling me. You know where he is. I wish. I'm his sire, but even I can't track him. If you've heard as much about him as you let on, surely you'll know he can't be found even by the likes of me. I'm sure he can, with the right techniques. Any fish can be caught in a wide enough net. Thus why you went to question one of my little birds. What exactly did you do to them, Inquisitor? So you do know who I am? Of course. I know everyone in the province, from the Jarls to the farmers to the beggars. I know a thing or two about wide nets. Impressive. Then you'll know your little bird still sings. I find honey to be better bait than blood with the common folk. You seem rather calm for someone sitting across a table from a Thalmor Inquisitor. 
You seem rather calm for someone who's just wasted her time talking to a skooma baroness. Lady of Clan Redwater? I would assume, being his sire, that you'd have kept a closer eye on him. So you have been studying with the Dawn Guard, not just availing yourself of their weapons. I have indeed. Learning all of your weaknesses and strengths. I must say I'm impressed by Soreen's archive of various vampiric strains. The sheer diversity among your kind is... staggering. If one takes into account strains from all across Tamriel, yes. I take it you're here to use that knowledge to kill me. You don't sound terribly worried about the possibility. That's because I know we're after the same thing, you and I. Neither of us know where Ingrath is, and both of us would like to. For different reasons, obviously. I assume you mean to kill him. I would much rather bring him back alive, mostly. As alive as someone of your ilk gets. <laughs> Elinwyn must really have it out for you then. What? Why else would she assign someone to hunt down an untraceable man in one of the most inhospitable provinces on the continent? Assigned? <laughs> you misunderstand. I took this contract willingly. Then allow me to adjust my question. What would make a talented inquisitor like yourself choose to take the short stick job? Certainly there must have been an easier one available. Easy does not appeal to me, Lady Gold. If it did, I'd have a desk job back in Alinor and spend my free time sculpting jade plants rather than people. A woman who likes a challenge. Just in it for the money, then? Or the security, I suppose? It can't be easy being talented in the Dominion from what little I've heard. Nothing so basic, I'm afraid. Ingrath is an old friend of mine. We worked quite closely back in Valenwood. I put so much time and effort into him only to have him slip the leash. I see. A black mark on your record forever. Perhaps not forever. He was my first and greatest failure. He may yet be my greatest success. He must be quite valuable to you. To me. To the Dominion. A weapon like him shouldn't be allowed to run free without supervision. I imagine someone who can take down a warhorse with a skinning knife would be quite the prize on the battlefield. He's a one-man shark unit. You've seen what he can do. We've all seen what he can do if he's the one who made a mess of Fort Greenwall. That's what he can do when he's allowed to run wild. Probably applied to a situation, however. He's a thing of cruel beauty. And even stronger than you remember now that he's a vampire. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. If he has some of the skills I've read about, enhanced senses, speed, strength, stealth, and whatnot, he could apply those quite well in his position. As a weapon? I prefer to think of him as a tool. A finely crafted instrument, if you know the right tuning. You take great pride in your craft. I know what I'm good at, Lady Gold. Indeed. And you must be good if you are working on Ingrath. Are you the best they've got? If I can bring our dear Deserter to heal, I will be. Do you want to be the best? I beg your pardon? What do you want, Hegatha? Besides Ingrath, besides wiping out that mark on your record? Do you want freedom? Do you want challenges? Do you want to matter to someone besides yourself? I am the only thing that matters to a person in my cell. You want control, then. Fine, I'll play your game. What do I want? Perhaps all I want is the simple pleasure of knowing what I'm good at and being able to do it for a living. Could anyone fault me for that? No, of course not. But someone with your talents could be good at a great many things and be useful to a lot of people. What exactly are you trying to sell me? Nothing yet. I'm in the business of helping people out of difficult situations. It's a habit, I suppose, me trying to understand yours. 
You think my situation is difficult? Perhaps. A highly skilled investigator and manipulator like you may just sit around in dungeons and thrash people until they either break or talk. And now, here you are in the war-torn north, surrounded by people who either hate or at least distrust you, chasing down a wild man who has evaded capture for... how many decades? I simply want to understand what makes someone like you work. Why someone with your skills would be so loyal to the Aldmeri Dominion outside of conditioning? Conditioning? It's a powerful tool, Dominique. A sculptor's chisel. It does take the right set of skills to effectively use, of course. Take too much off the wrong part of a stone and the whole thing will break and become unusable. It takes patience to truly shape something worth looking at. An interesting thought. And do you think people are like stone? Not all people. Some are made of diamond. They would rather shatter than be shaped. Some are made of clay and dissolve at the slightest provocation. Some are made of wood, others steel. It's all about knowing the material you're working with. One way or another, once you take a piece off, it's very difficult to put it back on. And how many pieces did the Thalmor have to pry off you before you fell into line for them? Enough. Enough? Enough to shape me into not just another arrow in the quiver, but a sculptor in my own right. <laughs> I know what I'm good at, Dominique. The Thalmor allow me to do what I'm good at. In fact, they've encouraged it. Taught me more than I could have possibly imagined. Just because someone convinced you that you're only useful as a tool doesn't mean you have to be one forever. And what if they're right? Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has a use. I'm lucky enough to know what mine is. Fair enough, I suppose. You know what you're good at. And I know what I'm good at. Stalling people? Well, that too. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of helping people who have lost pieces along the way. Not so much putting those pieces back as giving them ways to work around them. I see. And you think I'd accept if you were to offer such a service to me? No. I was thinking of how long it's been since last you saw Ingrath. Decades at this point. Having been off his leash for so long. You really think you could get him back? Of course. I trained him well. And no matter how you might have tried to convince him otherwise, I know exactly how I carved him. You only know how you carved him, Hegatha. You don't know how he's shaped himself in the meantime. Some wounds never heal, Dominique. It doesn't matter how many decades it's been. It's never too late to try. How many scars must you have that you enjoy taking it out on others so much? I think I've played quite enough of your games, Lady Gold. I know who I am. No amount of your misplaced idealism is going to make me turn coat. I didn't think you would. You're proud and stubborn and loyal as they come. What if that's only what I want you to think? Then I still know you better than you want me to. I know what I'm good at, Madam Inquisitor. Madam, is it? I suppose that is a bit formal for the likes of you. What are you after? Why sit here talking to me this whole time, knowing I could, at any moment, draw my sword and put you down? Try, you mean? <laughs> First of all, because I don't believe the bluff. You're a mage, not a soldier. You like picking things apart to figure out how they work rather than smashing your way through problems. You're cunning and resourceful, and you like knowing what you're up against. Am I wrong? You're more observant than I expected for a simple skooma dealer. You've still overlooked one important factor, however. Oh? Care to enlighten me? Why would I spend my time talking to you, knowing my quarry is out there slinking around Skyrim unsupervised? 
I was under the impression you were doing it to size me up, knowing I'm the one who turned him. Size me up, squeeze me for information if you could, see if you could rat out his whereabouts if my tongue slipped. Unfortunately for you, I tend to be quite honest. It has been rather refreshing, all told. If I'm to be perfectly honest, I don't regret a moment I've spent here. You don't? Even though I've just wasted your valuable time? For all you know, this is all just a setup, and I'm waiting for someone to walk through that door and end you right now. You didn't expect this? And Ingrath wouldn't do that. <laughs> no. After all you put him through and all you've learned about me. After all the time he's spent remembering how to be a person again. You think he'd hesitate to kill you? I know how he works. I know he's panicking and crawling about in some cave somewhere in an attempt to evade me. I know how controlled by fear he is. He has no choice but to run. He could run. Or he could be tracking you down as we speak, intent on putting an arrow through your skull. Perhaps he's off gathering allies so he can be sure he has a chance of beating you. He has options. Ingrath only knows one thing when it comes to me, and that is terror. He's running. You only know what scars you gave him. You don't know what work he's done in the meantime. I know what he is better than anyone else in this world. Bold claim for someone who can't track him down. Yes, it is rather. Of course, I have no intention of tracking him myself. That would be a fool's errand, even for me. Right. You're using the Dawn Guard's dogs instead. In a way, I suppose. In a way? Yes. See, I know two things that you, it seems, do not. Care to enlighten me once more? I seem to have underestimated you. An easy mistake to make. The first is the reason I've been sitting here playing your games without a care in the world. I know, Ingrath. I know he knows that I'm with the Dawnguard because I know he's talked with Mordgood. I know he fears me, and by extension he now fears the Dawnguard. So, Miss Spider, I don't have to track him at all. I just have to sit back and wait while my patrols cow him from the edges of the province inward. I too know a few things about casting wide nets. And what makes you think he'll fall for that? Because of the second thing I know. A name. I sent him a message when he left Fort Dawnguard. I know where he was last seen and what he last saw. That name carries with it every time I had him in my chair, every time I bent him to my will, every time I ever took my chisel to his soul. He's afraid. When he's afraid, he tries to escape however he knows how. It won't matter how much time you spent on him, because I am the one who made him what he is. And as long as the shred of possibility exists within his mind that I might be among one of those Dawnguard patrols, I can herd him however I wish. I am his worst nightmare. If you're already doing all of this, then why are you here? Biding your time, waiting for them to find him, trying to decide what strain of vampire I am? You are quite observant indeed. Hide all you wish, Lady Spider. I'll give the little came in your regards when I see him next. Good luck. And thank you for your valuable insight. It was a pleasure. you. 
I play a wicked Daggerfall Gambit. And what are you- <gasps> Careful where you swing that thing, dear girl. My, it certainly looks different from when Arden had it. Eh, uh, Miss Gold? What are you doing here, in the middle of the- Well, actually, in the middle of the night makes perfect sense. We're having a bit of an issue. If you're awake enough, I'd like to have a chat about it. Somewhere private, with any luck? Uh, how private we talking? Like, inside somewhere, or like... Just somewhere that the guards won't ask questions and we can be out of the line of fire for any wayward archers. Right. Uh, uh, most of the place is still a mess, but follow me. I'm glad I found you up so late, but I do worry about your health. Ugh, don't mind me. I don't sleep so well these days, and frankly I'm a wee bit nervous. I'm supposed to take a lady out for training or evaluation or whatever tomorrow morning, and frankly I, I think she's better than me already. <laughs> You'll do fine, my dear. Speaking of intimidating ladies... I need you to tell me what you know about Hegatha. I see you know she's bad news just from how pale you are. What did she do? That is a long story. Tell me what you know first, and I'll see how much I can fill you in. Well, she's absolutely terrifying for one. I watched her fury someone to death once. Like, don't get me wrong, her shock spells are nothing to sneeze at, but... Don't let her paralyze you. What do you mean, fury them to death? I mean, she can send people raging from across the room, and if they're alone and can't find anyone to attack, I, I don't know, they anger eats them to death or something. She raged a vampire's thrall in a job once, and when he ran out of targets, she paralyzed him. It killed him so fast neither of us had a chance to finish him off. Huh. I see. In that case, I got very lucky. What happened? She went after you? Did East Ryan send her after you? Because... No, she paid me a visit of her own volition. Though, it seems like she has managed to talk Isran into a somewhat coordinated attack on one particular vampire. I'll tell you about that in a bit. But yes, she came after me. I set myself up as a pawn, knowing she'd likely try to take me out while I was undefended, which actually puts me in a position where I can develop my side in such a way to attack her weak points. Which is, in essence, a gambit. Does... does that mean she attacked you? <laughs> I see you're not a chess person. Yes, she did. At first she was trying to figure out if I knew where someone was and then... She sat around letting me poke at her for a while. I got what I needed out of her. She, evidently, got a bit too confident and paralyzed me as I was turning invisible. She had a fury spell in her other hand, but I don't think she could figure out where I fell or even if she hit me. I got lucky. Eat great gold, she's looking for Ingrath. You seem very certain of that. I am. She asked me if I knew him, and I said no, but I did a god's awful job of it. Yes, she mentioned something about that. What else can you tell me? 
I think you know more than I do if you sat down and chatted with her. I suspect she was lying to me this whole time, or if not, at least giving me half truths. And did you tell Ingrath about her? Eh, uh, I don't know. I might have. We talked outside Markarth once. Sort of how I figured out between the two of them that she's a Thalmor and she's after him because he's a deserter. That about sums it up, yes. She's an Inquisitor. Is that why we've not heard from the lads for a while? Are they alright? That's a difficult question. Yes, that's why you haven't heard from them. Ingrath is missing. Vivek! And Arden and Zaytest are down in Blackreach looking for plants for a poison that'll make sure Hegatha stays down when we fight her. Vivek! Pretty much, yes. And we're all sitting around here twiddling our thumbs helping rebuild a town for folks who probably got it under control themselves? I'd rather you be here doing that than trying to get involved with this mess. Arden and Zaytest know about him now, but your grandmother and Kinawa don't. Be back again, I forgot about that. And I don't even know the full story. You know enough to be Hegatha's weak pawn. I what? There's always a weak pawn on the king's side. You know enough to be a danger to her. Particularly since she probably thinks you have no idea, given that you're busy doing this. Right. And it's because I know she can fury people to death. Oddly enough, yes. If that's her killing move, then we'll be prepared to deal with it. We have our own weapon, if Zaytest succeeds. Even if she doesn't, Agatha told me enough of her plan that between the three of us, we can make it work. Worst case scenario, we tell Kinawa and Yarnvita, regardless of what Ingrath would want, and gang up on her. I mean, desperate times, eh? Not desperate yet. Not for us. I suspect our huntsman has a different view on it. Much as I tried to bluff, Agatha was right. He's afraid. And he's running. So what's the plan, then? Is there anything we can do here to help? Well, keeping up appearances? Smart girl. Yes. Agatha is using the Dawn Guard to herd him around and keep him from crossing the borders. I think she's trying to chase him into White on Hold somewhere. All roads lead to Helgen, so if a patrol comes by, make sure she isn't with them. I'd ask you to stall them, but to be honest, I don't want him escaping off into Cyrodiil or something, either. Right. Because if he does that, A, there'll be more Thelmore, and B, we won't be able to find him. Oh. Smart girl indeed. What? I hope Ingrath realized the same things you did. Because yes, with Skyrim in Stormcloak hands and the Thalmore scattering, this is, counterintuitively, the safest place for him to be. Cyrodiil and Highrock both have a Thalmor presence, and the only road from here to Hammerfell is easily defended. What about Morrowind? Between the vampire clans and my little birds, he'd never make it through the Velothes without my knowing about it. You've got birds in Morrowind? I have friends in Morrowind. Several smugglers, of course, but I also have friends with eyes and ears that sometimes see and hear very interesting things. Usually nothing relevant to us, though. You wouldn't have happened to hear anything about an... incident? The House of Troubles? A couple years back, maybe a decade or so? What, you mean the one where the Thalmor held a group of travelers hostage because they thought a random Nord was a Talos worshipper? Aye, that's the one. That random Nord was me mum. And she's a skull. So of course she's not a Talos worshipper, but they'll take any excuse to... have their way. The ball bags. Oh. I see. And you were with her? Aye. Me, my mum, Theryl, a bunch of others. Didn't we escape through the cellar while some of the bar staff and a few patrons kept them distracted? Frankly, I was starting to wonder if I'd dreamed the whole thing up, but if it really happened, it really happened. 
I'm glad to have assuaged your worry. I think. If you ever want to talk about it and need to get away from... people who you might not want to know about it... Redwater Den. It is a skooma den, but we're working on renovations. Slowly. It's how I find people who need help. How I found a lot of my little birds and helped them fly again. Just tell the doorman or the barmaid that you're looking for me and that they're a sight for sore eyes. They'll know what you mean. That's... kind of weird. But thanks, I think. <laughs> I suppose it is a bit. You take care, Mordgood. I have one such bird to visit to make sure Hegatha, in fact, didn't kill them or maim them in some way. And then I need to go find Arden and make a plan. Stay safe. Keep your eyes open. And your nose, too. Aye, I'll do my best. Get some sleep while you're at it. If I can sleep, between this whole cluster and trying to make sure I'm at least as good as the guards, I've got a lot to think about. I'd slap you with a calm spell, but I suspect you'd fall asleep right here. That wouldn't be good. Not really, no. Alright, good luck. If you need an angry Dunmer with a big glowing sword, you know where to find me. Indeed I do. Good luck yourself. <laughs>